Hi, I'm Lauren Barrick and I'm here for GearBrain and today we're going to talk a little bit about the Kodak Photo Printer Dock. Um, it's a way to take images off of your smartphone, uh, print them on really nice photo paper and have them, you know, for a photo album, um, in a frame in your house, kind of get them off social media. Anyways, um, that's what we're going to show you how to use today. So the device is pretty simple, it just plugs into any electrical outlet. Um, you're gonna uh, attach either connect your smartphone either through Wi-Fi which we did not test so we're not gonna be talking about that today or through a dock here which is what we're using we have an iPhone 5 sorry 6s um, what you want to do first is download the Kodak uh, dock app um, your instruction manual is going to be really helpful when you get it in the box save it read it use it um, you're gonna you're gonna thank us for that um, and then turn on the device and then open up open up the app so it opens up and you're gonna choose have options you can actually just shoot something and print that right off or we're gonna pick the gallery and go right in there and pick an image and it's first gonna ask you if you want to auto resize which you do because it's gonna make sure that that image is printed right to the, like a nice border um, sort of centered correctly and so we're gonna say yes to that and and then print now printing takes about i don't know about a minute or so first it's transferring all the data which it's blinking and letting you know that it's doing that to the device from your smartphone and then it's going to print off the paper um, you buy paper in packs like this uh, you'll open it up there's two sides one is shiny one isn't you're going to put that paper in on the shiny side up um, that's really going to give you that nice uh, gloss look to the image we found that putting the full pack of paper created a jam like you would in your regular printer so we um, we recommend actually maybe just having that um, you it's not like you're probably gonna be printing off that many images at once and if you are it's just not a big deal to kind of pull this cartridge out like you would a printer cartridge and putting it back in um, you also are gonna need one of these cartridges which is the uh, way that all the inks are gonna come onto the paper those are very simple. You buy those separately. They go in right onto the side. Uh, you open up the side of the uh, device, put that right in, close it up. You'll know that it's in there because you'll hear that click. So you'll see already that the printer is printing off color in three layers. Um, it does that um, as a yellow first, then a magenta, and then a cyan. Those three together are gonna actually create a really beautiful, rich colored image. Um, as it puts the paper through, you'll, uh, you'll notice it takes a couple seconds to let it dry, which is what it was just doing right now with the magenta. Now it's gonna print off that blue. You can probably start to see that there's a really nice image already starting. It's putting it back through. It's gonna let it dry for a second, and then it's gonna do a final coating. Uh, again, you know, the, 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 the photos are, are gonna be a lot nicer than anything you're gonna get on your paper printer. Um, and you finally, it's letting me take it. Um, you'll see, it's a really nice picture with a little bit of a border, which you can trim, um, nice, shiny. I can see, you can see the glare there, but um, it's a really, really, it's a really nice uh, thing to have sometimes that have like a real picture in your hand. So there you have it, um, the Kodak photo printer dock. Um, you know, stay tuned on our channel. We're gonna be doing the, uh, the mini printer uh, next, the mini dock. So that's something that I think you'll be able to take with you when you travel, um, maybe even for a walk. You want to do a quick photo, sh like photo shoot while you're out on a hike. So thanks so much. Thanks for tuning into Gear Brain, and we'll talk to you soon.